Hey guys, today I'm doing a tutorial on how to win Octane One Chunk UHC with my friend LDTII. And let's begin. So, when you guys spawn, one person needs to get eight pieces of log, while the other person gets chest items. For example, leaves and apples. The spawn eggs don't really matter in this game mode, so just ignore them. Once you ha once the person has collected uh, leaves, they should build to stone level, build a leaf platform on stone level, and wait for the person with the wood to come, bring some wood, and make a crafting table. So here LDTII made a crafting table, and now we're going to be mining for stone, and then get, after you get a stone pickaxe, get an iron pickaxe, and once you have an iron pickaxe, get one diamond block, and go to a crafting table. Once you, and when you get to the crafting table, you need to craft a diamond pickaxe. Once both of you have a diamond pickaxe, one person goes to the mine shaft and gets some iron, for an anvil while the other person goes to the dungeon area where the obsidian is and gets obsidian and books if you're doing the dungeon area you should always check the chests as they usually the as they usually have useful items such as apples and pearls and golden apples here i broke two bookshelves for some books for the enchantment table and now i'm going to be mining obsidian Once you guys have crafted an enchantment table, right here I just placed it, and an anvil, right now I am crafting it. And once you guys have anvil and enchantment table, you guys need to start mining diamond ore for XP to enchant your gear. The end goal is full prod 2 and sharpness 2. And right here I placed a helmet and there was no protection option, so I placed in boots and if there's a protection option on boots, I enchant the boots. That's an enchant. If there's not an option for anything, you enchant a sword or a book and if you don't have that, just enchant a random thing to cycle the enchants of the enchantment table. Now I have a full prot one set and a sharpened sword. Once you guys have two prot one sets, you guys need to combine the two protection one sets to get a one protection two set. Also combine your two sharpness swords and make a sharpness two. Here I also managed to get a knockback sword and if you guys have some spare XP, you guys can get knockback and knock people off the void. The first person to finish enchanting needs to get some gold for golden apples while the other person finishes enchanting. Once both of you have finished enchanting, one person needs to place leaves while the other person shears them with shears. If you guys don't have a lot of apples, only make two enchanted golden apples, and that's usually enough. But if you guys have a lot of apples, make four enchanted golden apples, just in case, two for you and two for your partner. Once you guys are done making enchanted, once you guys are done making it, apples golden apples you guys need to pack up your enchantment table and anvil as you sometimes might want to enchant at mid here i'm giving half of the golden apples to my partner ldtii and now we're bridging to middle If you guys start getting thrown eggs at, or snowballs, or a bow is shooting at you, someone with a bow, you, you guys need to make sure you guys don't fall in the void. Here we fell back, and LDTII healed up a bit. 
while I stayed back for now, and then I rushed. They were shooting us forward, as that's a mistake. We were going back on the bridge. If you guys are going to snowball people, you guys need to snowball them from the side. I made it to the ground, and then they had to run because we got the jump on them. LETII came here. And now we are fighting right now. The Our enemy used an ender pearl to escape and then ate an enchanted golden apple behind the rock. So they were basically invincible for a few minutes. Here I switched to my knockback sword. As I can't kill them, I might, I might as well try to knock them into the void. They ender pearled away again. That was actually a mistake on their part as they had enchanted golden apple and they should have finished what at least one of us off also here's a tip you guys need to always try flanking your opponent like here on this rock i went on one side while LD ldti went on the other here they ender pearled away and right here i was able to get some knockback and knock back them and knock them into the rock and then ldti was able to finish them off with the sword hit There sometimes is another person randomly somewhere. You usually can't find him. Uh, so LDTI went on that bridge and started scouting around. I want you to dig this as sometimes people hide under here. This time they fell and we won. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.